We did that. Um, you can talk to them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just not catching that I'm really here and doing this. Um, you want me to pinch you? Yeah. I there already pinched myself, and <laughs> this is real. I just can't believe it. Um, I told my husband when today we came here, and he said that, that have you prepared a speech? What if you win? I said to him, Han, don't be silly. This is, you know, PwC is the most valuable entrepreneur. I'm a, I'm a foreigner. I don't even speak Finnish that well. That how do I, you know, be the spokesperson if my Finnish sucks? <laughs> and I said that they are not gonna take a risk on a foreigner. I'm already very happy to be on the book. And now I'm here. <laughs> He said to me that, you know, your presentation in Delaka went so well <laughs> that probably you should start in your speech with a song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I say, how the hell am I supposed to start with a song like this at the moment? Try. Anyway, okay, I, I would try to pull myself together because th even watching that was a little bit weird for me because that was done long, long time ago. I have never seen this before. <clears throat> I just want to say that I am so, so, so lucky. I'm so grateful, especially to being included in the book. Thank you, Mika Magalainen, and the whole Daivasa Hrivati theme. I said to Mika that I've been starting to write blog posts. And to be really honest with you, at first when I know that I was going to be on the book, the only thing that I was thinking about is that, thank God, that we have been just me and my husband trying to run this. And it had, it's not been easy, you know. I have to put on this face that everything is all right, you know. but. It's not, especially in the beginning. And I try to conquer everything, but you know, every time we go to sleep and we are worrying about the money, we are worrying about the fact that we are carrying a lot of loans and stuff like that. And it's worth it every time the customer come and tell me that we love your place. <laughs> And being in the, in the book, I, the first thing I thought about was that, oh my god, now we are in the book. Finally, someone is going to hear about us. Someone is going to find out about us, that this is good for us. But I just told Mika on the phone that, that to be honest, that was really selfish of me, because I was just thinking about me. I was just thinking about Huone. I want Huone to do well because it has been so much hardship. But after I actually is in the book, I realized that you know the problem is bigger than me. The problem is that entrepreneurship is not for a lot of people a great career option. And that is not true. Like and I say today on the stage, on the hot seat, you should create your own job. That was why I started to create this. Because I figured that a foreigner who doesn't speak Finnish very well and stay here for love, how do I, oh, yeah. how do I find a job? Do I want to be a cleaner? Do I want to be the waiter in the Chinese restaurant? No, not really. So I decided that it's time I create my own job. And then I created a job for me and now also for seven other peoples. And they are Finns and international. I 
I just want to say that I'm also very, very happy to be here the whole day today. And the speeches were so inspiring. And I'm so happy that this business event is not just about talking about making money and how to make money quick. At the end note of every speech, did you notice that everyone asks you to give back. Finland has given me so much. I would have never, ever gotten a higher education if I were in Malaysia, where I'm from. I would never, my, my family would never have the money to send me to university. And I got a degree from Finland for free. And I promise you, from now on, I'm giving back because I felt the responsibility the same way how Arnold felt that he has the responsibility to give back to America. I feel it for Finland because I tell every Finnish people who live here that, guys, stop complaining about the weather. You are born in paradise. Yeah. We in Malaysia have the sun and the sandy beach and the crystal clear water in the islands. Yes, I know that. But here, gosh, I'm a woman and I'm being respected. I'm given even chance on my career. And now I'm an entrepreneur that, and I even, oh my gosh. Can you believe that? I just, before I go off and stop bothering you guys with this speech, <laughs> I don't even know where is it going because I really didn't prepare this, I'm sorry, is that I want to thank my husband. I was so afraid, remember, before we start this? that if the company is going to change our relationship, then we will start the company right away. And I'm so happy that he hasn't. And he has taken us even further, not to mention that during the time, we have our son, who even now gives me more meaning in life, that I want to build a better future for him and for everyone around it. And I want to thank my family Yes, Riku, I promise that I will thank you <laughs> <laughs> for believing in me and all my partners who have believing in me when all the banks said that you have a good idea, but thank you guys so much. <laughs> <laughs>